Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we set up automation for the Jelly Baby Singularity. Uh, the No, that, that wasn't it. Hold on. There we go. Nope. There we go. Man of Steel Ingot Singularity and Emerald Cluster Singularity. We are getting very close, and in fact, we are only missing one, two, three, four, five, and six singularities. And then, of course, we need the Ender Pearl, the Ultimate Stew, and the Cosmic Meatballs, but we won't talk about that. Instead, we are going to talk about how great this room looks, right? It's a brand new floor, perfectly well-made ceiling, and then this glass at the end of each of these, behind like all the pipes and whatnot. Obviously, I need to improve the ceiling and whatnot, but it's an improvement. I like it. But today, we are going to be working in the blue section of the Singularity Automation. And that is because we are going to be making the pig iron ingot Singularity. We need to do a little bit of prep work and everything in my inventory is what we are going to be using. I just need to remember exactly how I was planning to do this a couple of days ago. Basically, to make a pig, a molten pig iron, which then turns into pig iron, of course, we need one bottle of honey, two blood, two blood slime balls and one molten ingot. Now, the way th that we get uh, this, don't know how YouTube reacts if I say this. Um, <laughs> we basically need to get this, right? Um, and the way we get this is from, well, doing this. However, we can melt down rotten flesh into this ketchup, which then turns into con congelated blood. Which from there, we can then go ahead and use laser nodes to filter items out one or two at a time into another smeltery, which then produces the pig iron. And we should be good. We're, we're just gonna get started and set this up. So the first things first, we need to set up an automation for getting the um, the the run flesh melted. So what I'm going to do is I yeah this, this is fine. This is all fine. We we don't need hoppers. I'm going to place a personal EMC link here, which is then going to produce run flesh, which is going to be fed into this. I am also going to have to have this here, with an item drain right there, and then I believe I can maybe do this. No, that is not connectable that is unfortunate however i can do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out not going to look as great but that's fine i'm going to put this here and then going to place personal emc link on right there and output and that is then going to output lava x onto this and this is then going to put lava into this automatically then we are going to have a seared faucet which can be re turned on by redstone by the way so that is really handy. We're going to place that there. And the blood is now going to be poured from this onto this. And that can then be picked up, I assume? Yes, looks like it. Good. Progress. I'm also going to set up the timer. I can basically I just need a little bit of a block there. Put it on. Put it on. No, put it. Put. Please. Put. No. There, there we go. <laughs> and just having it set to one tick is totally fine. All right, the next thing that we're then going to do is instead of just leading it into a pipe, we're gonna lead it into a chest. Then we're going to have two personal EMC links right here, and then these laser nodes, which is going to help us count the items that, the amount of items that we take from it, because as you saw, we need to get exactly two of these, one of honey and then one of molten iron. And we basically need to drop that all precisely into here. And then I do I have another control? No, I do not. Can I make one? Yes, I can, but I need to do that upstairs. I'm also going to have to make another uh, drain, which is going to, of course, serve lava to, there we go, the smeltery controller to this smeltery right here where we're going to be placing... Oh, I already placed a controller. Now we needed a controller. Uh, anyway, we put this here. We put another faucet right there. This right there. 
the pig iron is going to be placed right here, which can then be taken out and into this right there. However, I am hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can place this. That's not really what I wanted to do. If I can place this here, and if it's then counting it, we're going to find out if it is or not. I'm going to place this here, disconnect, place item drain, and then we are going to again place this, disconnect, and then have a personal EMC link on top of that. This looks very fancy. I like it. We of course also need to place this here, and then another timer, which just like before, can just be set to 20 ticks. I think this might do it. Well, we need to set these nodes up though. So for the nodes, we are going to be needing these item cards. So it is currently set to insert. I think I need to set it to extract, and then I can do a counting filter. And I can do transfer amount one, and then I need to give it the item that it actually needs to take. So honey bottle, we're going to be needing that. We're going to be needing rotten flesh. We're going to be needing lava egg. And we are going to be needing something else, iron ingot as well. Perfect. Right. So for this one, we're going to be extracting honey bottle from this personal EMC link. So I'm going to tell it, hey, gen generate honey bottles. And on this one, which is the West, we are going to go to West and I can add this mode extract, extract honey, right? Extract it once, I should say. I don't know if it will need a redstone signal. May Eh? Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work the way that I intended to. Uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, interesting. So for some reason, when I place this here, the pipe is taking out the filter and these are not connecting to the pipes. That is very odd. All right, I can do something else though which I think should work if we place a chest, for example, and we say an, set an insert card, it does that, which is not good because I need, to, I need to do it one at a time. And I can't seem a, see a way of setting this to say, listen, do only this once. Uh, hmm. All right, I may have figured out a solution. Only time will tell though. So let us get this thing going. You need to generate run flesh. We put that in here. This then gets blood. This needs to be set to generate lava eggs. And that is not working because it probably needs to be put on top, which would make sense. Nope, can't do that either. I remember now I need to use and the side funnels. And for that to work, I probably need to place this even further on top. So we'll place this here, here. And then I need, of course, the wrench. Do I not have the wrench? Wrench. I did not have the wrench. Set this to output. Uh, hello? Eh? It wasn't set to generate run flash, so let's try that once again. Place that there, change that. Not run flesh, not run flesh. Lava eggs. That doesn't work. So it says it right here, you can add lava legs on top, lava legs? <laughs> lava eggs on top of this thing. And if I just go ahead and get a few more, I think if I click it, yep, as you can see, it gets added just like that. However, even if I use Harper's and things like that, okay, that worked. That did not work before. That did not work before. I just tried this. That didn't work. Where did they go? Like they're not coming out. It's like it doesn't, it can't generate them. 
It does, it's not even seeable. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, they're not even seeable. That makes, that makes sense. So the only solution is to pop that out, put in an ender drawer, and then sync it up that way, unfortunately. So, very painful. Pop this out, place this in, get the lava X in there, go ahead and get the linking tool and the configuration tool. Link this in, lock it, and then I should be able to just take this. I think I right click. I punch. Stored frequency. Perfect. I go down here. No, one, one, one more. I go down here. I place this here. I right click. Yes. Perfect. And now this is being made pretty fast, mind you. Like, yeah, that's pretty decent speed. Now I could go ahead and take this one and finally set it up for that. And this one we want to transfer to. We want this to transfer two at a time to this chest. Um, I just need to add the insert cards. And I hope that because these are just so fast that it is going to just happen automatically. You may wonder why on earth are there cakes in here? And that is simply to try and limit how much stuff can actually get in here. I can try and remove them and let's see what happens. We can always stop the process. Um, that also means I actually go, uh, actually need to go ahead and set up another end of door with another hopper to get this working. And boom. And catching. Oh wow, it's yeah, it's empty because <laughs> I took the one that has all of these in it. I could just connect it to the system, but probably the easiest way to do this is doing this and then doing that, transferring basically. And that's that emptied, which for now, this will keep us going. I may need to upgrade the amount of lava chickens I have. I mean, this thing will be, yeah, it's full. It's fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. It's not needing to, uh, that's not connected. Why? That's because this is an item type, you ding dong me. I, I promise I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really. Uh, right. No tank in the structure. That's because it's in a corner. I was afraid of this, so we need to place it here instead. And then, like so. Yes. Registered. Okay. I guess everything is a go. Just need to go ahead and add these here, here, and here. So this is what I was afraid of. We're going to get a ton of conjugated, conjugated blood, for example. Item cannot be molten. Oh no. We're done with this. How do you Ah Honey block. I mean I can I can easily change that. I can <laughs> I can easily change that to a honey block. Only issue is we're not getting in the iron that we're supposed to get. So that immediately is a problem because we have then it's going to fill up in the sweltery with all the blood and we're not going to get anything else in there so get those out this should now be calling on honey blocks this is a complete disaster i need to set it to this and not you not not you place you back in we should get honey blocks in here but now it's full like now the smelter is full and there is absolutely no space whatsoever. And I think, I hope I could get rid of it like this. That would make it easier. But that is in fact not the case. I think, I think I found a way. I think I found a way. If I have more of these nodes, laser nodes. What did that require? Laser connector. Logic, oh dear. I think I have figured it out if I set up uh, my notes here, if I set up one, two, three, right? So I'm going to, why is this not? I never told it to make iron apparently. Um, so that could solve it then maybe. 
If it never got iron, but then it's going to get filled, filled with blood. It's fine. Um, if I go ahead and set this to extract again, and I say listen transfer one, uh, I need more counting filters, three to be exact. So I place this here and I say extract one iron ingot from this chest, right? And I'm going to go to bottom, place this in here. Then I can say go to the right and then continue into this. I think that is how we're going to be able to do this. So one conjugated blood, I go ahead, set it to extract, counting filter, need this set to two. That's not how we do this. <laughs> one, thank you very much. Uh, actually, well, do we need to set it to two? No, transfer mod two. So bottom or down, we place this here. Then over here, again, with the same thing with the honey block. So take an item card, extract this, just one, and we need a honey block in there. And we can set that to the down. Now I can go ahead and say, listen, you move items into this. You move items into that, because these are insert cards. And then this is set to this. It's taking the conjugated blood, but it's not taking these, so apparently they can't be connected. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to try this again, because now we actually have the iron going. I want to see what happens. That's not good. That's not good at all. Place this back, please. Extract. Yep, yeah, now it's filled with honey. That is not what we need right now. Work, then it, it just gets the blood. Yeah, that doesn't work either. I'm mad. I'm not happy. Turns out this is completely irrelevant because you could just get a machine, not that, induction smelter, conjugated blood, I didn't get clay, boom, pig iron. I didn't know that. I thought you had to make it in the smeltery, but no. No, that, uh, that that's in fact not needed. Also, you don't need the timer either. You know what you need? Leave us. Just cast it on. Oh, never mind. I guess that part, that, that part is important then. Okay, never mind. But yes, this part right here, we can go ahead and take all these out. Do all this. Uh, oh dear me. Yep, clean the inventory. <laughs> So all I need to make, apparently, is an induction smelter. I can place this down, and I just need to set things up. Configuration, input, output. So I think, maybe, now I can just set this to input. It also needs something to burn it here, I think. It looks like, like a normal furnace. It doesn't say what, though. I assume it just needs power. I hope it just needs power. Let's see, ender cell. I only have the spirit it. That is, yeah, that's not what, what I wanna do. So I just used a starter and the cell can only transfer 1000 uh, RF. I have a feeling it's too slow, but we are going to find out. So I'm going to detach this just so I can set this to output, output and output. There we go. This is getting iron, this is giving clay, this is giving this stuff. And if I set this to be connected, everything should run in there just like that. We are smelting and I mean, I should get pig iron from this. I should get pig iron from this. Yes, it was that simple, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was that simple. I could have made it so much closer over here and look so much cooler. However, I don't I don't feel like moving it now. I'll do that another time. I, I will do it though. I probably will do a stream at some point doing some tidying up and whatnot. So make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on for that. But yeah, that's the pig iron singularity. I did not know that you could make it in the induction smelter. Otherwise, we would have been done with that 
way, way sooner. But we learned from it. We we learned from it. That's not what I wanted to do. You put them into the glass blower's workbench, and then you can get this cool looking glass, which really makes this place pop. I feel. Just add it like so, and boom. Never to be touched again. Well, that was a bigger nightmare than it should have been. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the pig iron singularity basically completed. We just need to be generating a lot more. But that is going to be happening while we set up something else. The balloon singularity, I don't think is actually going to be that tricky. With that said though, we need to automate the, pro the process of getting to fabric, which I believe we could do through an automatic crafter. However, the only thing that we're missing is the industrial herb fiber. The way we can get that is through crops. So we can make these bodily parts, which automatically grows the plant, and we can surround it by watch our flowing time, which hur hurries up the process, <laughs> speeds up the process significantly, solving our tough fabric issue. Now another, another issue, or the second issue, is the treated wood slab. We get these by getting using treated wood planks. Again, we can use Autocraft for this. However, to get these, you need to use creosote unless you use filling by spout which would be really really cool but that of course needs some create setup as well we can also use a casting bin uh, so dump it into a smeltery and then we can dump it in onto wood so that might be an idea as well that way we don't have to do this specific crafting then we can convert it to slabs and then that's done however how are we going to get creosote oil well we could use a coke oven and then uh, use charcoal and whatnot to get the creosote oil, but you can use a py pyrolyzer, which basically takes a coal, generates these, which we can just dump into a trash bin, and then it generates creosote oil. So that is what we are going to be setting up next, hopefully with a better success right from the get-go than that thing. And I don't think we need that much space. Oh yeah, I blocked this off for a reason. <laughs> Due to uh, the pipes down there. Um, why did I think it was a good idea to... Why am I even running it? Oh, to get it from there to... But why wanna just... I need to use this. Right. Well... well I'm gonna have to redirect you, I'm afraid, buddy. So if I just steal those and redirect and go up, yeah, then it should be fine. It should be fine. Everything should be fine. Nothing bad. Everything connected. Just need to set it to output. Boom. Just like that. Wait for it. Awesome. And I can use this setup right here. I may, however, want to expand a little bit to the sides. There we go. Right. So we need to make the paralyzer. We need another bricks, which we can easily get like so. Constant gear. Do I not have constant? How do I not have constant? It's EMC able. I don't I don't have nickel dust. Nick the uh, I don't even I don't even I don't have Wow. I don't I don't have nickel ore. I don't have raw nickel. Wow. That has me shocked a bit. I'm gonna have to use the smeltery for this. Uh do I already I already have one ingot of copper in there? So I should be good. Hmm. I can't believe I haven't set up constant. That's brass. Eh? Well, I can at least make some fire charges, and then I can make this. And let me just make sure that this never happened. <laughs> Not what I wanted to get. Not what I wanted to take. I wanted to get that. There we go. <laughs> like I was saying, let me just make sure that that never happens again. Constant gear, boom, done. Machine frame, tin gear. Machine frame for the tin, tin gear for the machine frame. Boom, pyrolyzer, done. Ender cell, done. All right, let's set this up. So pyrolyzer is going to make 
creosote oil. So I'm going to pop this over here. Obviously, it's going to have to get power, which we do there. We set this right there, and that is then going to get coal. Right, so we're going to generate coal, set that there, and set the input to the top. Mainly to make a thing that goes directly to it. Where are my item pipes? Everything is messy. I need to clean up stuff. Mechanic? Nope. Mech. Me there we go. That that's what they are. Go here. Output. Coal in. Power's being used. It's going to be turned into hopefully creosote oil. And boom, creosote oil is being made. And then I could just at the bottom or at the back here set up a trash can if I have one. There we go. So if I set a trash can and I set the output in the back to go out. Auto output enabled. Maybe I need to do something like this, placing the item trash in there, setting this. Yep, there we go. Items are being destroyed because we don't need them. Then we want to transport the creosote oil over to, I think this could work. I'm hoping it can, because what we can then do is right here, well, do this in a casting bin, and it has capacity. So I think this could be doable if we just find mechanism and get the ones that can transport fluids up here. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. <laughs> and then set output on the side as well. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then I can go ahead and place a faucet right there and a casting bin right there. And if I just go ahead and grab an oak plank, like so, boom, we're getting treated wooden planks. And I can easily set that up with a personal link. If I go ahead and get another oak plank, just like so, you generate that and another no another pipe like so boom and then automate this with a constant redstone signal which we can easily do by getting a seared brick and then a lever catching and press this and boom then that is constantly going to do its thing leading into probably a chest right we're probably gonna have a chest for it uh Right here, maybe seems central enough. And boom. Right? Perfect. Treated wood automated. Well, we actually, I forgot. We need to get it into a crafter. Crafter tier three, I believe. Question is, do we have one already? Crafter tier three? I do have one. So we're actually not going to make this. We're going to have this right here. And then again, I'm pretty sure yeah, we're getting the storage right there. I think I can go ahead and do this and I can select a recipe and I, no, I need a recipe card. No, I need the crafting card. That is what I need. So I go ahead, I add this to, I want to say this, if I go here, do this, apply, oh. I don't need to crafting card. Uh, so this recipe is now in. So when this has power, which I can easily give it by another um, ender thing, and I do want it to face this way. And yeah, that, that's going to make the treated uh, wooden slabs. And that is that project done. Power has been given, blocks us up, and yep, treated wooden slabs. Now that is of course just half of what we need for the balloon singularity. We can also need torches, which of course we can easy, easily get. Uh, the tough fabric though is next. So we have a few options. We could use something like a, I can't even pronounce that, insulator. I'm not gonna do that because that requires bone meal and water, yada yada. We could go use a garden 
thing, which I'm also not going to do because that is probably the best of engineering and that probably requires power. However, the botany, the, the botany parts should be very, very good. All I need is to get a ton of terracotta. That should be good enough. And if we go in here, botany parts. There we go. You can get two different varieties. You'll get long ones and then you can get hopper ones. We definitely need to get the hopper ones. So I don't know how many we should get. I probably need, yeah, I need flower parts. <laughs> Let's just uh, solve that issue real quick by going into here and asking for a stack and burning the rest. Yep. So, botany parts. We need like, uh, I don't know how many we need. I don't actually know how many we need. All I know that we is that we need this now. And I think we're good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out this area here. And I'm just going to place down a bunch of pipes. Like all connected, not very efficient. But that is all where the parts are going to be. They are hoppered. So I guess they would work. However, I do want to make sure so add dirt to that and add this and that is going to grow eventually however i am going to break this place this grab this and this add this and turn it on meaning this should go a lot faster now the above stuff might go faster as well there we go and it's not being taken out because i need to set this to output i assume oh it's getting seeds as well we can we can sort that out uh, maybe it just needs a destination. Yeah, it just needs a destination. Question is, does it then need... Yes, it does need to be set to export. So that is important to do on all of them. All right, they've all been set up. Now they all just need dirt, which apparently I don't have enough of. Can I make dirt somehow? I can, but also can't. Uh... I may need to hammer some gravel to get it, actually, because, well, I need 25. Anyway, all I need to do now is add the dirt and the seeds to this, and then everything is going to be gathered in this chest. We can filter out the industrial herb seeds into a trash can because we actually don't need those. And then we just lead this into a crafter that does this. This could be any stick. And we are sorted. Also, it turns out I had exactly enough dirt. Now for this, I can go ahead and set a trash can up. And I need to be careful with this. Uh, I need to have... Can I set up the filter beforehand? I cannot. That is regrettable. Let's take a wrench. Set this to output. A few things are going to get lost, I would think. But we need to set this here. Add this. And we need to set it to submit whitelist so only the seeds are being taken now so if i add the seeds in here boom they're being trashed next up then is a crafter right here and we are then going to not do that pull here into this and what we are then going to do do i have need some of this and i need a stick as well at least one i have plenty of sticks from how many sticks do i have the stickiest of sticky sticks, a stick of lies, stick of truth. Right. Anyway, I can go ahead and select this recipe. Surround. Not that. Add stick. And apply. Tough fabric has been selected. If I place this here and here and give it power, we are going to see that it will make the tough fabric thingies. But first I'm going to grab these, which means I can now make enter cells as I please. I'm going to need one, two, three, I think, which is good. I need to make the area for the elevator bigger as well, by the way. Right, power. That is going to craft tough fabric. This is just going to keep going. It's not set to output yet. So there we go. Um, I'm also going to set up a... I just like to... I don't need place up here the personal name ceiling like right there but I just like it 
I just like having it up there and I also need some sticks again to place in here and output that's going to add a bunch of sticks and everything is going to be used very quickly I'm just afraid that the thing over here is going to get them way too fast so maybe I'll break this and use a normal logistical transporter which is not going to be as fast like that and somehow some seeds made it into that that's not good I think I'm going to try and do that obviously gonna free up some of this room and I think we'll be all right maybe all right on to the final crafter which I could just go ahead and add power to immediately this crafter is going to get the items from this and from this into here and I'm going to take these and also I don't know why some of the seeds are making it through. Because this is not filtered, that's why. Ah. So this isn't always getting the priority, I suppose. That could be a problem. You know what I'll just do instead then? I'm going to break these. And I'm just going to give these a shot and this. So this connected to here here and here you are going to be output you are also going to be output however it is not going to be slow because of the netherite upgrade and i think that should we can add a blacklist do this and submit and now seeds are no longer going to make it into here and also the herb fiber should be making it over a lot faster than the stacks also, it is accumulating, so I should hurry. <laughs> so, I also need a torch to light my way. Ah, uh, no, uh, kind of. I need to select this slot right here. And so we just need one there. Torch, tough fabric, apply. Give it the ingredients. I needed one of those torches. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I needed just one. One, four. The lovely personal EMC, which I'm going to place right here. Oh, I need to do that actually, but I've got I've got to do that from the sides because it's going. To, it has to look cool. So I give it this, and so that's up to output yet. I'm going to add these and these. Output, output, and I'm scared for this one. I'm actually scared for this one, so I'm going to use the normal one that is not going to be super fast. Output. Because otherwise this could just get filled up. And we're making balloons, ladies and gentlemen. So now I think all I need to do is get this set up. Like all the other stations. We will add. Remove. We will then do this. Remove. This. Remove. And then this. And then output. Boom. Just like that. We can add this. Remove. And job's done. Now this right here is something that I really, really love doing. Automation for things like this. Having the satisfaction of this happening right in front of your very eyes is just lovely. Two issues, however. One, sticks are getting transported over way, way too quickly, unfortunately. So maybe I can remove this. Just maybe. And I can use one of these, and they do not connect. They do not connect, so that's a problem. But what I can do instead is I can grab this, and I can say, hey, item pipe, uh, don't connect here. Connect to this, not here. Output from this, of course, using the filter. And then here, have the sticks from this. I could also have... I can remove some of these and the torches. I could also have a node and then having the node limit the thing. But I think this is going to be all right for now. I'll have to keep an eye on it, but for now I think it should be fine. And look at that, we have our first pig iron singularity. We can take that off from this right here. And we got a chocolate cake. 
Actually, we got 16 chocolate cakes. Wow. You know what? I think we deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is our objective here for today done. We are four singularities away and then these three away from being able to... There we go. To make the Infinity Catalyst. Very exciting things. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry it's a bit of a longer one this time around, but it was necessary. I really wanted to get this done and I, I just winged this path. I wasn't really prepared other than the py pyrolyzer. So all things considered, I'm pretty happy with this performance. And we can go ahead and decorate a little bit. Uh, usually that is one further in, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right here, I think. It's going to be nice. And then we can add, yeah, because there's not really much space to work with here. <laughs> and do that. Boom. I like that. Very nice. So guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the following episodes. And also, if you are enjoying the content here on the channel, I do want to plug my second channel, where I play a bunch of non-Minecraft games. Currently, I'm doing a series with Slime Rancher. I'm also doing a series with Raft with some of my friends. I'm considering starting back up my Farming Simulator series because I really enjoyed that. Other things as well. So for non-Minecraft content, if you are interested, head on over to the second channel and subscribe to it right there. Also, getting it to 1,000 subscribers would be absolutely amazing. But I'm not going to ramble on any further. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, and goodbye.